everyone and welcome back. Hope you're having a great day. We're still in Article 695 which talks about fire pumps and in this video we're going to talk about a change made in 695.15 which has to do with surge protection. So the change here is an exception for diesel fire pumps was added and I'm going to be perfectly honest here. I'm not sure about this change. 695.15 says look there has to be a listed surge protection device in or on the fire pump controller. I think that's a good rule. I mean, the, the, the surge protection device is an over voltage protection device. You know how I feel about fire pumps. Fire pumps are critical. If they're ever on, it's because the building is on fire. So we need to make sure the fire pump is operational. So yeah, let's have surge protection. I think that is a very, very good requirement. Now, new to this version of the code, it says surge protection is not required for diesel fire pumps. Okay, well, why not? I mean, that, that seems kind of strange to me. When, you know, when I was reading through the proposals, a person made a, a proposal, a public input, that says, hey, uh, we need to add an exception for fire pumps because according to somebody that I talked to, they said, hey, man, it, it voids the warranty if you put surge protection on a diesel fire pump. And that's what this individual wrote in the proposal. And the code-making panel said, okay, cool, let's put, a, let's put an exception in for diesel fire pumps. And, and I'm sitting here like, well, wait a minute, was, was this guy right? <laughs> or did he make all of this up, right? Because it's like, hey, I heard from some other dude that if you do that... Okay, listen, as soon as you say, I heard from some other dude, I, I don't want to say I stopped listening, but give me a break, I stopped listening. Can, can you show me this in a product standard or an actual instruction? I have a very hard time believing that adding surge protection would violate a, a warranty or via, violate a listing. I mean, I, I just, I don't see that. Now listen, I've been wrong before, and some of you guys out there, fire pumps, or maybe your whole world, tell me if I'm wrong. But I don't, I don't see how that would be applicable. And, and by the way, if installing a surge protection device actually was a violation of the listing, then this exception shouldn't say it's not required. It should say it's not permitted. So which is it? I either have to have it because it's a fire pump controller or I'm not allowed to have it because it violates the listing. This exception makes it optional. Like, yeah, put it in if you want. Who cares? I don't know, guys. Help me out here. I, I, <laughs> I have a hard time thinking that this change is, is legit. But hey, man, it, it is what it is. You know, the guys on panel 13, they know more about this stuff than I do. So there you have it. Surge protection, not required for a diesel fire pump. 